For more on the fire situation and evacuation of the NWT capital, we're joined by Shane Thompson, the NWT's Minister of Municipal and Community Affairs. Minister Thompson, appreciate you making some time for us here today and hope that you and your family are doing well as, as well. Uh, how would you describe the, the current wildfire situation in the Northwest Territories? Uh, I would say brutal. Um, it started actually in the beginning of May, around second week in May. We actually, it started actually last year in mid-October where our fire season went. Usually it goes about to middle of or late August and we went right into middle of October. Um, so we brought in our staff and our equipment early uh, in May um, and then probably had everything located where it needed to be and staff trained and then all of a sudden the, uh, you know, could, could, Kadichi First Nation and He River Fire happened um, and it has not stopped since. How many people in the territory are on the move and evacuating from their homes? Um, so we are on to community. So it's uh, Dada Dilo, Yellowknife, Ingram Trail. Um, we're evacuating from Yellowknife right now. Uh, Hay River, Fort Smith, Enterprise have been. Jean Marie is um, as well. And today, uh, about two, I would say two hour, an hour and a half ago, Kikisa has been uh, evacuated. So that's what... about sixty. It's five percent of the population. Wow. You know, we're seeing the, the long lines for people waiting to get on flights in Yellowknife, which is to be expected. Uh, how do you, you think uh, evacuation efforts are going there so far? Uh, so it's been, uh, it's you know, it's taken some time. I mean, we've seen vehicles leave early before the order was issued. Um, so there's a lot of people driving out, but the people that are um, flying out, um, we've had um, people uh, registering at Sir John High School, and it's taken a bit of time to process everybody. We have uh, a, an order of who gets out, you know, people of elderly, the sick, the vulnerable. Um, so that there so we're working on a, our first flight is actually sorry just looked at the time here the next half hour so we have a flight going out and then we'll have another flight and then a couple hours and there'll be two more and then we're trying to get as many people out as we can you know you're mentioning the fire season even last year how concerned are you that this is going to become the norm every summer well, it's it's going to be the norm for again next year because what we're seeing right now is the fire season's probably going to go up right until the first snowfall, and then what we're going to see is it's going to subside and it's going to get underground, and it's going to hibernate there and then as soon as it warms up uh, in next spring, we're going to see more fires going on again. Um, it's probably been the worst fire season ever when recorded and our destroyed the 2014, which was our worst fire season there. So I think this is going to be the norm for a long time. Scary to think of. Uh, Minister, uh, appreciate you taking some time for us and we're all thinking of everybody up there. Thank you very much for taking the time to do this. And I'd just like to thank Alberta and the government of uh, Canada, as well as all other jurisdictions that have helped us out here.